So the next stage in our async and await journey is of course to check for errors. At the moment we're simply saying get the resolved promise of say hello, but we're not actually checking for any errors. So instead we can wrap this inside of a try catch block. And we can say if there's any errors, we'll use console.error and display the error message. In this scenario we also might have a const value, and the value of which will be true. We can say if the value is true, resolve hello, else reject with not true. We can then console.log the greeting. We of course get our hello in the console. If we make this false, and we wait three seconds once again, we get our error, which is not true. So hopefully this wraps up our handling with async and await. I would always advise using console.error when it comes to errors instead of console.log. I have a video on this called JavaScript Console Semantics. I'll link it in the description. And of course, don't forget to check out the Learn Ionic 3 from Scratch course. You can find a discount code for that inside the description as well. Until next time, my name is Paul Halliday and I'll see you in the next video.